Hey folks, I was cleaning out my gift drawer upstairs, kind of preparing for the holiday season to see what I have made and what I need to make. I have a drawer full of, of handmade goodies for gifts for the holiday season, so I'm pretty happy with that. But I had forgotten about making these, and they're, they're so cute and cool. This is a Stampin' Holly idea. It's a photo wallet, and you use one piece. Sorry, we're getting a lot of glare. Uh, you use one piece of scrapbook paper, a 12 by 12, and you fold it, and you make a little pocket wallet. And there's, they're just so cute. Um, there's one, two pockets, and then you have another pocket here, and then you have a pocket underneath here, and then you have one here, and here, and here. I mean, is that eight? I think that's eight. I didn't count. I made this one with a piece of scrap desk paper and some cut up greeting cards so that's another way that you can use your greeting cards i went one step further and did make some of these into small booklets and i'll show you how to do that in another tutorial i just did a little bit of binding and you know this would make a nice uh, little travel piece or something to to put in your purse or whatever so we're going to take one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and Holly says you know don't use uh, the super stiff cardstock so this is it's not super stiff all right and we're going to make one fold like this now I have a bone folder but you can use whatever you have you can use the edge of a pair of scissors you know like that I have a bone folder because my friend gave me one so there we go. And then after we get that done, we're going to come in. I forgot my glasses again. Ugh. Um, don't come all the way to that center fold. Leave about a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Holly says don't come all the way to the fold. You know, leave about a sixteenth of an inch. She is also working with some, you know, some lined paper, which I think will probably make this whole process a lot easier. Okay, so you've got this, right? Um, then you're going to fold each, fold each corner in. Again, don't don't bring this up here but try and get that fold as close to this crease as you can. And you're going to do that on all four sides. Let's be careful not to bring it up too far. I like having a gift drawer. I rarely purchase gifts. Everything that I do is handmade or hand painted or something that I've altered and that's what I give to people for holidays and birthdays and anniversaries and things like that. I keep everything in a drawer upstairs at my house and it's it's really it's great. It's a it's a very good money saver. Um, someday I'll take you on a tour of my gift drawer. That would be a fun thing to do, wouldn't it? Alright, we're gonna fold this in. And be careful here. See, I can already tell that I, I didn't fold that properly. Again, I don't have my glasses, y'all. Okay, there we go. Don't you love this paper? Reminds me of something quite exotic, something Indian. Okay, can you see that okay? I had to turn that light off. Okay, so this is what we have now. Um, take the top. This is a wee bit tricky. You're going to fold it in like this. Okay, now go ahead and make a crease here so everything will, um, lies nice and flat. You know, I've done these in workshops with kids before, and the, each kid had an adult, and man, they turn out so pretty. You know, that adult can really kind of help. Uh, get things folded correctly and especially this part but man the decorating part is fun 
We did them for Christmas one year with a, a group of cancer survivor siblings. And it was it was total fun. Okay, now here's the tricky part. We're working this side into the side that we folded, okay? So we're just going to and you gotta be patient with this. And it would probably help if you're like me and you had your glasses, but since they're in another room and I want to get this done before the dogs and and everybody in the house wakes up, we'll just do the best we can here. Okay. Now you try and make it fit snug, okay? Before you crease anything, just be sure that everything is folded together snug down here, okay? All right. Then we're going to do our creasing. I love having a bone folder. It's super nice, but it's one of those things that I acquired. Like I said, it was a gift from a friend. You can always take a pair of scissors. You know, I got discouraged when I first started crafting because I thought, well, I don't have a bone folder. I don't have this. I don't have that. And, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. You just work with what you have. All right, and now we have our little booklet. And it is so cool. It's so neat. I've gone ahead and cut some cards for it. These, this is a, uh, uh, the little cards for the pockets are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So we're going to put a card here. And you know, imagine if these were little photos. It looks so neat. I hope I cut enough, y'all. Might not have. Okay. And then one goes here. These are a little bit tricky to get in there. Um, and I'm not going to push it all the way in there because I can't get it out. I don't have uh, I don't have a circle cutter thing. Um, here, I'll show you this one. I I use a nickel and I just trace around a nickel to get my uh, little slotted places for your your finger to go so you can can pull these little cards out here. See like that. So. You know, you don't have to have one of those things, but it does take a little bit of time to to uh, to trace around a, a a nickel, and it makes exactly the right size of tab for this thing. Okay, and then we'll do here, and we'll put one here. Now imagine, you know, maybe if someone was in hospital and they needed a little encouragement and you wrote little encouraging notes and stuck them in these little books. I mean, that just makes a really sweet gift. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will show you guys how to make the, uh, the small notebook in another video. Have a great day, y'all. And thanks for joining me. Please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye.